ta -da! So remember my video about the Philippine Coffee Expo Brudol? I'll put the link here. One of the coffees that I bought that day was this. It's a Colombia hybrid washed from Archers. And it's a Gesha. This is by far the most expensive beans that I bought. Yeah, this is 2,000 plus pesos. Philippine pesos for 100 grams. So this is Colombia Cerro Azul Gesha Hybrid Washed. It's a competition series um, coffee which is graded 90 plus. The flavor note says it's lavender, white flower, sugarcane, melon, sweet orange. The producer is Cafe Graña La Esperanza. The variety is Gesha, and the farm is in Cerro Azul. The process is hybrid washed. The location is in Valle del Cauca, and the altitude is 1,700 to 2,000 meters above sea level. This is coffee from Archers. Right, so for today's um, episode, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to brew this. Um, it took me a while before I could um, successfully brew it because I tried my own recipe but failed and then I, I actually messaged um, my friend from Archers, David, and he told me what to do. I also asked my friend Zane and she also advised me to do high temperature on this one. So first we're gonna weigh 13 grams. Look at the coffee, it's very, um, it's very humble. They don't look very special. Yeah, they don't look particularly um, special, but I've tried the coffee and it's really good. Believe me. <laughs> David mentioned to go, um, to go fine on this coffee. So we're gonna do 18 clicks. And also for this coffee, we're gonna use the Aurea V4. We're gonna change it to Apex so that we can use a conical filter. Maybe I should find a, like a small case for the accessories of the Aurea V4. The water that we're gonna use is around 95 to 96 degrees and we're gonna start. So the first pour, make sure that all the coffee is wet and then we're gonna wait 45 seconds for it to bloom. And then for the second pour, we're gonna do up to 100 ml. And then at 130, we're gonna pour another 50 ml. Then for the last and final pour, we're gonna pour a bit high so that it doesn't break the coffee grounds under. That is in 2 minutes and 15 seconds. So we're gonna let the stream break before reaching the water. Right, we're just waiting for it to finish drawing all the water down. I can immediately um, smell a lot of flowers in it. It's very floral. We have lavender, white flower, sugar cane, melon, and sweet orange. So, we're gonna try and taste it. Wow. Um, uh, mm, it's hard to explain because you are, you're getting a sense of like acidity of a sweet orange and then hitting you with some florality at the same time and it's very sweet. It, it's, it, it tastes like, um, tastes like honey. 
the body is not thin at all. Um, I don't know how to explain it. There is a lot of things going on and it's really good. Um, let me get my cup. Ooh, the aftertaste is wild. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. My mouth is salivating right now because of the because of the sweet orange. Yeah, it didn't taste like this the first time I brewed it. This is going to be the first um, correct brew that I made with the Cerro Azul. And it's so good. And it's a very simple recipe too. Wow. Yeah, so again, this is Colombia Cerro Azul Gesha from Archers. I got it for around 2,000 plus, maybe 2,600 for 100 grams. That is around, um, what is the conversion? 2, 6, 20, 40, 400, 40, 50, 50, 50, maybe, maybe around $50 for 100 grams. It's so good. But yes, for now, I'm gonna enjoy this coffee. Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!